Question at number seven, Louise Upson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Energy and Resources and asks what recent announcements has he made about mineral exploration in the central North Island? Mr. Speaker, Simon Bridges. Mr Speaker, yesterday I announced the opening of the Epithermal Gold 2013 tender. The tender covers more than 8,000 square kilometres of the central volcanic zone across the Bay of Plenty and Waikato regions. Companies interested in exploring for minerals have until the end of January to submit bids for exploration, not mining, Mr. Mr Norman. Following the success of the first minerals tender in Northland, the government is keen to promote further opportunities for exploration that could offer, down the track, far-reaching benefits to local communities and regional development. Supplementary question. Su supplementary question, Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question to the Minister. What reports has he seen on the development of mining opportunities in New Zealand? Mr Speaker. Honourable Simon Bridges. In the course of my duties, I've seen reports that call exploration and mining, quote, an essential feature of domestic and export growth. I've also seen anti-exploration development leaflets distributed in Wellington, and I've seen a muddled interview on The Nation in which the interviewee didn't seem intent on not holding a firm view on mining development. While the contestants on that side of the House are all over the show, Mr Speaker, on this side of the House, we believe mining has and will continue to be a strong contributor to building a more productive economy for all New Zealanders. Order. Question number eight, Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Housing. Uh,